Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Don't embrace negativity. This is very important because I'm going to tell you what, something I found with a lot of people, and I've seen this from childhood, really. Many people embrace negative, uh, negative things, not only in society, but actually they actually embrace their negative behavior. Now think about that for a second. Somebody's doing some stuff that not only other people see as negative, but the person themselves uh, see that as negative. In fact, some people revel in that negative behavior. They say, this is just who I am. Well, one of the reasons might be because they know they're getting some attention, even though it's negative attention. But how is that helping them? Yeah, they're getting some attention, but if they're getting a lot of negative attention, and people are thinking a certain way about them, that can hurt them in so many ways. If you got negative attention on a job, um, the employers, they just waiting for the right moment. They right, waiting for the right excuse to get rid of you. And then if you're talking about just in life, people don't wanna be around you. So that's within yourself. And really, let's be real, if you embrace a negative behavior, you're hurting yourself really because that might not stop you from putting harmful substances into your bodies or having low self-esteem. That's, that's affecting your mental health if you're accepting that. But some people embrace it because they might think it gives them a little bit of power or whatever. Or they really, for whatever reason, they haven't made that move to think positively. And in all fairness, they might have, had, they might have gone through some things. But the thing is, don't embrace it. Don't accept it. Don't think, oh, this is woe is me. All this is going to happen, you know? And then that's just on a personal level. I mean, let's just be real. If on social media, somebody shared a post or a meme that was positive in nature, really meant to uplift people, yeah, it might get a few likes and some people are co-signing. And say, yeah, that's right. If something is negative, that joint goes viral. <laughs> that joint goes viral. Like every, the most negative thing, that joint will go viral. I mean, shoot, I've had some articles. And I ain't gonna say they were the most positive articles, but they, a lot of people saw it. And I was like, okay, but then when I did this thing that nobody could say was negative in any way, nobody, people barely paid attention to it. But think about that. But you get some people who look for that. In fact, you have economic forces, uh, businesses, whoever, they look, they know people gonna pay attention to. If you think about the news, you know, they have one positive story, but everything else is negative. <laughs> think about it, think about it. And it goes beyond news because they're picking and choosing. Now, if they had a balance, okay, that's great, but let's just be real, let's just be real. They, uh, they feeding the negativity because the other people are feeding it. You shoot, some people look for it. Shoot, they want to, hey, they want to know the tea on somebody. Well, you know, they, they ain't always about some good stuff. They, they want to know all the negative stuff. They want to know the juicy gossip and everything. All of that's negative. Because the thing is, if everybody's, in, if you're embracing that, how, how are you taking your life in a positive direction? How are you feeling good? Because if you, if you embrace the negativity both within and without, you really putting yourself, you really dealing with your mental health. How can your mental, how can you feel good positively? How can you, how can your mental health feel good if you just embrace in negativity, negative thoughts, negative energy, just focusing on the negative things in life? You're not gonna feel good. Shoot, even just being in a state of negativity, it could actually, it can actually like lower, lower your intelligence. It can stress you out. It can literally kill you. But yet some people embrace it. It's like, no. Now you still wanna know what's going on. This ain't saying walking around like thinking everything is like unicorns and rainbows. You still wanna know what's going on, but you don't want to embrace it to the point you ignore the good things. You're looking at just the bad things. You don't wanna do that. You wanna to get to the point where you see everything. And even when you see the negative stuff, yes, you want to acknowledge it because it's still there. But even then, you want to see not just the bright side of something or see what can, or, you know, see the other stuff that can balance it out. But then think, OK, I'm seeing this negative thing. 
If you got to focus on it, focus on solving it. Focus on making a change. Indeed, many people have found their life purpose because they saw something negative, not just within themselves, but just in society. And they say, well, I'm going to work to change this. Now, even then, they're not embracing the negativity. They're trying to, to erase it. And people have to be that way. People have to be that way. Now, let me, before I, let me finish up with going back to within. If you're embracing that, it's hurting you. It's hurting your mental health. Because if your mind keeps thinking about negative things, it's going to affect so much about you mentally. And then it's going to stress you out. Most sickness comes from stress. Let me say that again. Most sicknesses come from stress. Because uh, not only is it stressing your body, it's stressing your heart. It can give you high blood pressure. It can cause you to eat negative foods. It can cause you to eat. Uh, use substances that can hurt you. It's actually hurting you within. And that's saying, and let me be clear, that's not saying don't ignore it totally, especially if it could affect you directly. You can acknowledge it, you can know about it, but you don't embrace it. I got, uh, and I've seen that too much with too many men and women. So you want, you want to see it, but then balance it out. You don't want to focus on negative thoughts. You don't want to do that. You want to keep a positive outlook, even so that even when the negative things come up, you can positively think about how to solve it. You can still acknowledge it. You can still see it's there because, you know, it can be a direct concern, but then you can solve it. And then you balance any thoughts of any negativity because most people hold on to those thoughts even after an event happened that caused them to begin with. Many people, uh, most people are depressed or have depression because of some negative that happened. And they need serious help to actually let go of it. So as best as possible, you don't want to embrace it. You don't want to like say, oh, this is just it. This is who I am, you know. Or just embrace the negative events. Oh, this is just what happens. Some people say, oh, that just happens. It's like, no, no, no. You don't want to embrace it at all. I want y'all really meditate on what I'm saying. Meditate on it, pray on it, everything. You don't want to embrace negativity. You want to always be in your best position. You want to think about the better things. You want to embrace that positivity. Now, like I said, you don't want to be on some fantasy, some fantasy thing where you just uh, act like the negativity don't exist, but you don't want to fall in a trap of only dwelling there. So that's all I have for today. Truly think and meditate and pray on what I'm saying. Yeah, have a great day today. Peace and many blessings.